Welcome to the Structure Studio's online video series. This video will explain negative, infinity, and zero edge pools. Our project has the pool, spa, and hardscapes in place. In the pool stage, we'll first add a negative edge to the end of the pool. In 2D, with the pool selected, click the Insert Spillover button. As we move our mouse onto the grid, the spillover is attached to the pool. When we have it in the correct position, left click to place it. Once the spillover is in place, the length can be adjusted in three ways. By using the scale tool, by typing in the length in the panel, or by clicking the purple endpoint and dragging the spillover to the desired length. Since our pool is 20 by 40, we'll set the spillover length to 20 feet. Let's head to 3D to see the different spillover types. We can choose between spillover, tiered spillover, forward or reverse negative edge. We'll select the forward negative edge. By default, the angle is set to 30 degrees, but can be customized in the panel. Since the water is spilling onto the deck, we need to add a catch basin. In 2D, head to the spa stage to create it. Activate the outline tool. Double click the left corner of the spillover to start the shape. Move the mouse across the length of the spillover to 20 feet and click. Then click the orange endpoint to set the offset to 2 feet and click to create the catch basin. In the panel, set the height to negative 2 feet. In 3D, the forward negative edge and catch basin look great. Customize the tile, stone, and interior in the material stage. Now we'll create an infinity edge around the spa. In 2D, select the spa and click the Insert Spillover button. Left click to place the spillover. Click the purple endpoint and drag the spillover around the entire spa. In the panel, select Spillover. Next, we need to add a catch basin around the spa. Instead of drawing it as a spa, we'll modify the pool shape in the pool stage. Activate the Divide tool. Divide allows us to add points and delete the segment in between. Click to add a divide point offset one foot from the spa line on each side of the spa. The line is now divided into three segments. Activate the Move tool and click the midpoint of the 12 foot segment and press Delete. Now activate the Line tool to complete the pool. Click the right orange endpoint and draw to complete the shape. In 3D, the spillover looks great and is flowing into the pool. We can also use these techniques to create a zero edge spillover. In 2D, click the Insert Spillover button. When the spillover is in the correct position, left click to place it. Click the purple endpoint and drag the spillover around the pool beam. In the panel, select Reverse Negative Edge and set the angle to 1 degree. In 3D, we see the spillover has lowered the pool beam. To create the zero edge, we need to raise the water level in the panel. Double click the pool to select it and set the water level to 2 inches. Perfect! Now the edge is flush with the deck. This completes instruction on negative, infinity, and zero edge pools. Thanks for watching! For more information, please visit StructureStudios.com/help.